So I'm going to just put in a bit of a background, nothing fancy, just so that it's not white and we can change it up a little bit later as we go. So now that it's all dry, I've just dried it off with a hairdryer. Um, I've just drawn up a simple little picture and I'm going to mix just a little bit of green. So I'm going to use some of the lemon yellow and phthalo blue. And I'll mix quite a dark green to start with. We're going to add highlights as we go. And I'm just going to put in my leaves. Really simple. This is just a, a really easy painting to do. Doesn't have to be precise. So we're going to come along and have a bit of fun with some pens at the end. And a little bit of water just to loosen that up a bit. And we'll just come along and put in the stem of our stick. Just a little bit of yellow here to the leaves and just a little bit of extra colour. Just nice and quick and simple. Don't be too pedantic over it. I might do, well I'm going to, a purple bird. So a bit of crimson and a little bit of the phthalo. We'll make Quite a deep purple. There we go. One that's not new. And again, still want it to be quite dark. And we'll just start putting in our little bird shape. a little bit of black on a smaller brush to pop in his beak so we'll mix just a little bit of um, the three colors together to create a neutral color so we're going to make a make a bit of a brown color And we'll add just a little bit of this to our stalk. Probably could have used a smaller brush for this, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't want anyone to get too stressed over the details. And what we will do is we will use another smallish brush and we'll mix up a little bit more of the green but we'll make it paler again and this time we'll just add a little bit of extra extra highlighting to our leaves perhaps even a little bit through here not too much because we're going to use the pens shortly or if you've got crayons at home you can do the pen work using your crayon that's fine 
And I've just dried it off with a hairdryer and I'm just going to use a damp tissue just to take off the leftover chalk marks. I'm going to put some pen marks in and just start having a bit of fun. So using some of the, the greens, just put in some sort of squiggly lines just to, well here are the leaves, a little bit more for the stem, right down this end, use some of the dark as well. Oops, need it to come out a bit more. The idea is not to be too neat. We don't want it to be a colour in the lines kind of thing. Some of the yellow. It's because we've got a bit of highlight going on here. So we'll continue that. Brown one. And we're going to add just bits of brown into our stem here. We get some white because this is the one that makes it all just pop. I just want to nothing too precise. I'm going to use the purple first on a little bird. his eye. Look at where we're going to put that. I think maybe about there looks good. And his feet. We want to have just a, a little bit of something that suggests he's got feet underneath him. We need this to dry off just a smudge. So now that's dried off a little bit we'll put just a little touch of Highlight on parts of our bird. Just make him stand out just a little bit. A little bit across his beak. A little bit on his eye. That's looking good. Maybe just a touch on his feet. Don't want too much. And Add a little bit of something else to the to his wings, just as a bit of interest. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, just a slight change of plan can make you all happy. Again, this is just a nice, simple little little ditty. And then we're going to paint in our background. So you're just painting in the negative space. So once again, using a bit of leftover paint. And we'll just start to paint around the picture. Don't take away too many of your lines. It's alright if you get some of them. If your brush is still a bit wet like mine is, just dry it off. Pick up a bit more paint. And there you have it. If you want to continue, you can add extra highlights, you can do some extra things to it, but on the whole, that's it. It makes a really cute little piece for a kid's room or something, or you know, kids might like to help out and make their own. Make sure that you tag me if you make one of these. I'd love to see.